If you have seen the latest video by Takat, well, it shows this. So what's this? This is the new overview effect. I've also showed it in the past and I think it's a good time to let you know that it actually exists and do a video about it. But keep in mind that this effect is disabled by default. It's exposed to the user so you can enable it, but it's disabled by default. And the reason for that is that, well, it's not really yet for the public. But if you're interested in seeing something that's being developed, well, this is a pretty cool effect that you might like. So to enable this I'll show you right away you go into system settings you make sure to have the latest version which is 5.24 in a week you need to wait wait a week then workspace behavior desktop effects and you search for the overview and then you enable it you also get to pick up a couple of settings which is whether you want your layout mode to be natural or closest natural is pretty good and whether you want to blur the background if you're on a low-end machine maybe you don't want the blur but still that's it you just enable that and then it's meta meta wk w key and you get this so you've got all of your desktop on the top. You can create new ones, but you can also remove them. If you click on the name, you can actually rename them. So like, I don't know. Hello. Okay. I can't type, so this is why it's in development. Uh, I think it's maybe the fact that I'm doing this on Wayland, it, uh, sorry, on X. It did work on Wayland. So maybe those kind of things are to be blamed, but still you can, you can rename desktops, you can search. And it will search just like a runner, so you get all of the things. And again, I, I can't type. Sorry about that. <laughs> my Did my keyboard die? No. So it's the effect not receiving the keyboard events. Bugs. Again, in development. If I type, then it will search. I can do like one plus one. And as a runner does, it will show you the result. I can also type, well, an interactive point as an example. And it will show, show you a question mark, sorry a question mark, and it will show all of the commands that I can make. That works on uh, Kerunner too, by the way. If I run Kerunner, Kerunner, like this, you can see that you get all of the runners and uh, they actually explain how they work. As an example, define search term will define a word. So I now know I can do run define hello and it will actually work cat, as you can see, it's here. A felon mammal usually blah, blah, blah. So you can actually run searches, which is cool. You can switch between desktops and you can re rearrange your windows between the desktops. However, if you click on a desktop, well, it will open up that desktop, but there's no way to actually rearrange windows that you move to another desktop. If I move this window here, there's no way to bring it back as an example. It's a bit of a catch that probably will be fixed. I mean, I will make sure that it is fixed before it's actually enabled by default. It will probably be ready for 5.25, 5.26. I want to show you this, which is uh, the context. Well, a new overview effect was actually asked for by the VDG for quite some time. This task is from April 20 of a year ago. And uh, well, there were mockups already, but I decided this is a task by me to do a task to bring uh, some mockups together and discuss them. This was the first one. It is very old by this router and it took, it looked very nice. Like this is roughly what I would expect from an overview effect. Of course, if you have a lot of horizontal uh, desktops that won't work very well. And this is an idea with all of the options above. So activities, so you can switch between them, but also some option on uh, the overview effect itself and also on a search and what to search to, from. And here, there's this mockup, which actually shows how search should work. Now, if you open up this, I can, uh, let's go here. So I've got two application and I can actually filter those application. Similarly to, you know, the uh, present Windows effect, which is this one, I can type Kate and it searches for Kate. And if I type Firefox, Firefox, it searches for Firefox and I can do uh, I can do it here as well. If I search for, oh, I can't do that again. But if I search for Kate, well, you won't get the same cool thingy, but in the results, you will see actually Kate has a uh, window and you will be able to click on it. So that actually works. What else? As I was saying, let's go back to the 
mockups. This is selecting all of the windows. This is by me. I have done this mockup. It's better than the one that I showed you in yesterday's video. If you missed my beautiful mockup from yesterday's video, you've missed a lot, go check it out. And uh, it's the same concept, but with the idea that you actually get two views, this one and this one. So if you're just, if you press it one time, you get this uh, view with all of the NIP or uh, virtual desktops and you can drag and drop similarly to GNOME. But this was actually before GNOME implemented their new overview, so independent idea somewhat. You also get type to search on the top with all of the activities. And then here, if you press it another time, you get actually a desktop grid where you see all of the open desktops and you can still rearrange windows. So that was my idea. This is this router's idea. And then there was discussion. Until six months ago, this effect was actually implemented for the first time. It wasn't fully implemented. Again, it was like initial bits of QML based present windows effect. And the cool thing was not that we had a new effect, but the fact that we had a new QML based effect. Because up until now, most of the effects that KDE has were C++, and whereas pretty much everything else was in QML, effects were still C++, and they were actually very hard to maintain. So the fact that there was a new effect with uh, QML, well, it's a big step forward, and since it's QML, it will be much, much easier to actually edit it and make it improve it really over time. So even if there are some bugs, they can be improved much faster because now it's QML instead of being old C++ legacy code, which is why we removed a lot of effects in the latest Plasma version. They were old C++ legacy code. The new ones are in QML. The flip effect, the cover effect, those are QML effects. So that's very nice. And uh, well, why wasn't it done before? Well, there was discussion of doing this well before this was actually implemented, but the issue was that people were worried about performance. So C++ uh, for Kwin was probably have, like surely going to be uh, faster compared to a fully QML um, solution. So what was done before this effect? There's all of the history. It was a mixed effect with both uh, QML and C++, with the C++ part actually managing showing the window and then the QML code being everything else, so the virtual desktops and so on. Now, if I go into the changes to actually see how it was implemented, I'm fairly sure that it has lots of uh, QML, um, C++ stuff too. It's, uh, it's blah, blah, blah expolayout.c++ should be it, 810 lines. And that's because if I understood this correctly, and that might not be the case, I, I haven't gone through all of the 2,800 lines, but in theory, I think the windows themselves should be uh, being handled by uh, C++, whereas everything else is QML, if I understood this correctly. So it's this, it is super nice to actually finally have this and uh, it's already working pretty nicely. Surely it can be improved. Uh, surely this thingy where I can't type will be fixed. I don't know what's up with that, honestly. I tried it five minutes ago and it worked. You know how it goes. Still, it's a good start. It's a really good start and I'm really happy to see this uh, work being done. Now, should you use it? Well, if you know Parachute, uh, well, I think this is much closer to Parachute to, rather than GNOME's uh, activity uh, overview, sorry. And the reason for that, especially because the idea of implementing this overview came much sooner than GNOME actually implementing their own overview. And the layout is much, much uh, closer to Parachute and Parachute was actually uh, cited in the merge request. So if you search here Parachute, you can find it, Firefox please. Uh, it's actually here, here, parachute, parachute, blah, blah, blah. And uh, even in a later merge request. And uh, all of the people said, ah, yes, even neat, like, uh, this is fine. But people saying that uh, Plasma was copying uh, GNOME, I think it's more like copying parachute than GNOME's overview because it's more similar to that one. And uh, parachute was very popular. So it's basically as Parachute was QML and it had some performance issues. 
at least on my computer. And um, well, now that it's being integrated into KDE Kwin and it's a mix of QML and C++, it's performing super well. I haven't seen any issue with it. Very cool, that's actually finally happening. Thanks everyone for watching. My face is somehow still being cut, so that's much better. And uh, really thank you to all of the Patreons. I'm still lacking a couple of them in the list. Sorry about that, it will get updated in a few days. And uh, really thank you because, well, that's what uh, actually allows me to do these videos. And uh, I've also got something very cool coming up, some more uh, review about actual hardware, uh, which is was like my dream when starting this channel. So yeah, this is improving, this is going forward. And if you're interested in other, video, other videos, check them out and see you tomorrow.